Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Pastor McConnella here. Just wanted to say hello. Thank you for joining us, joining me this afternoon, and or whenever it is you join in and watch this uh, video, even after the fact. It'll be here on uh, Facebook and as well as on our YouTube page uh, as well uh, later on uh, today. So uh, just... Um, Thanking you so grateful that you're here. Hey, if, you, if you're joining me live right now, would you let me know that you're here? Um, feel free to do that. Um, I am, um, you know, this is day 24, um, believe it or not, on this 40-day uh, journey of prayer and fasting that we have been on uh, together. And uh, we have been, you know, kind of, we've pray, been praying through in, in certain thematic uh, groups. You know, we started with focus on ourselves. That is, you know, what does God want to do inside of our lives? And then uh, our church uh, community. Um, and then, you know, this week, um, uh, the, in this 10-day uh, period here, uh, starting at day 21, we wanted to focus in on the city in which uh, we have been placed. And, and if you're watching this, you know, in, in whatever city you're in, this is what we want to be uh, focused on. And this is the, the statement that we, we, we shared, um, uh, kind of that just help us focus on what is it that we want to be praying for. So we, this is what we declared over um, this stewardship. Um, uh, so we have been placed strategically and purposefully by God into this community context as a redemptive force of God's goodness. We declare that we will be agents of his hope, bring good news to the poor, and proclaiming liberty to all who are captive. You know, so that's what we believe God has uh, mandated the church, the capital C church, not just our church, but the church of Jesus Christ to be in whatever city that um, they've been placed in. And so it's fitting today that we are going to be focused on praying for churches in our communities. And, um, you know, we really believe that what God has, has stewarded to us in the earth is not is not possible to be achieved by just one church. And it's, it's going to take uh, the mobilizing of the people of God everywhere to uh, fully accomplish the Great Commission and to see this world um, encounter the good news about Jesus. We want to come alongside and, and really pray into this, um, into, into what God wants to do through the churches of our community. In that regard, I wanted to read this uh, the scripture for today. This is Second Thessalonians. Uh, verses um, 11 and 12, it says this, With this in mind, we constantly pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and that by his power he may bring to fruition your every desire for goodness and your every deed prompted by faith. Verse 12 says, We pray this so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our Lord and the Lord Jesus Christ. So a, a couple of things I wanted to point out in there, just as we, you know, just kind of stir ourselves up to pray for the churches that are, are in our community. It says, with this in mind, we constantly pray. We constantly pray. Listen, that is a good posture to be in no matter what, is going on, no matter what we're, you know, what we're, if we're facing, good, bad, anything at all, it is a good posture to be in. We are constantly praying. That's what the Apostle Paul was saying to the Thessalonians and the Thessalonian church, and that's what we want to be about. And in particular in our day, I just want to say to you, we want to constantly be praying. And what do we want to be constantly praying about? Well, we want to be praying about asking God to in 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 these local expressions of his church that he would make us worthy of his calling in other words that the calling that he has and the the way that we pursue it the way that we're after it the way that we're lining ourselves up those two things meet together that we come up to what it is god desires for our lives and then then this there's, there's this phrase which i just love i just love it's such a it's such a um encouragement to me because it says 
that by his power, okay, not, not, not what we can generate, not what our faithfulness or our energy can do, but by his power, he may bring to fruition your every desire for goodness. Listen, in our day right now, there are people and, and legitimately that are desiring to do good and want to do good and want to be a, 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 a force of blessing in our community. And listen, we're going to need God's help to do it. We're going to need God's help to do it. And the Apostle Paul is just so clear about that. He's saying, hey, listen, if you're going to do good, if you're going to be a, a, a person of good, a church of good, you're going to need the power of God. And so that's his prayer. Not only that, but he says, um, your desire, not only for goodness, but your desire that every deed prompted by faith. So basically he's saying, hey, listen, you know those, those things of faith that you want to see accomplished? You're going to need the power of God to see that happen. All right. So um, these, these are the things that we want to register really pray in, into. And then verse 12 basically just says, hey, listen, overarching all of that, is Jesus. What, what is the end of all of that? That the name of Jesus, the fame of Jesus, the goodness of Jesus, the life of Jesus be the thing that is, that, that rules the day. That is, that's the, that's the name that overcomes everything that, that, that is so prominent, preeminent over everything. So that's what we want to, um, you know, pray into today. Um, I, I just encourage you right now, um, yeah, and, and I'll actually read a, a few more words after we pray, because um, I, I felt the Lord really setting something on my heart. But we, let's let's just really pray into our local churches. And if you are, are here, you know, from another church, or you obviously, if you're a Christian and you you know other people that that go to other churches as well, we want to just be thinking about, hey, how is the Church of Jesus Christ everywhere fulfilling the calling and the mandate? that he has for us as a uh, as individual fellowships and as a collective capital c church let's pray together so father we come before you right now and we yes god we are joining in we thank you for all of these local expressions of the church god in, in communities everywhere and in this local community and and whatever communities are represented by those that are viewing this right now god we pray for the church we pray for these local churches god thank you for setting men and women uh boys and girls in uh, local expressions, God, and, and thank you for the, 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 the unique ways that you have um, shaped and formed every single local church, God. Thank you for these ones that name the name of Jesus as their Savior, as their Lord. And so, Father, we just pray into um, just all that's happening right now, all that the opportunities, the the the, um, the just the openness to what you want to do, God. I, I pray, we pray, God, that you would give power to accomplish. Um, the desire for goodness right now. God, the ways that um, there is, a, there is a, an increasing desire to see good happen, to, to bless others, God, to, to be a help um, in, in, in tangible ways. God, would you give uh, anointing and power and life to those activities? God, the, the ways that you call up faith and um, that faith and action will join together in, in a powerful combination that is energized by you, oh God. So, Father, we pray for the church everywhere. We pray for the increase of the church everywhere. We pray for the, the, the ways at which you will touch and bless the people of the community because of the presence of these local churches, Father. We pray for every pastor right now, God, that you would give wisdom to them, God, that to make right decisions, to just discern what is the way here, there, or what to do and how to minister to people right now, God. We, we, we pray for this unique uh, atmosphere that we're in, God, that we'll just discern the way of the Lord. Father, we pray for the spirit of hope, the, the, the presence of hope to be, to be just so thickly present in every local church, God, that there would just be no buy-in to any panic or fear or any anxiety or anything like that. 
there would just be an opportunity to be the voice of Christ in the local places that you've placed us, oh God. So Father, we're praying that you would just um, bless the, the, um, the mission and the vision of the church of Jesus Christ in our local churches and in our local communities, God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you and we, and we pray over, over all of this that the name of Jesus would be preeminent and would be, uh, th there would just be the fragrance of Christ left through the ministry of these churches. We just commit that to you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, I just wanted to read um, for you. This is, um, you know, this may be familiar with you, but this is from Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. Um, this is the, the Lord uh, speaking to Moses and Moses then declaring a blessing to the people. And I just want to declare this over your life. And I want to encourage you that on a daily basis, maybe more than on a daily basis, and in your homes, in your families, in your communities, you just declare the blessing of God. God is here. He is here. He is here. Can I say that again? God is here. He's not left the building. Okay? He's not left the building. He is in your building, wherever that may be, in your house, in your family room, in your bedroom. He is there. All right? And so his desire to bless is, is, is has not left in any, it's not lessened in any way. So I just declare these words over you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And this is what it declares. It says, so shall they put my name upon the people of Israel. That is the people of God. That's you and I, right? So shall they put my name upon the people of God. And this is what God says, and I will bless them. And I will bless them. So I encourage you, I just encourage you with these words, God will bless you. God is seeking to bless, and that is not lessened in any way. So I just, I just leave those words with you. Let them kind of sit in your soul. Um, thank you again for joining me uh, this afternoon and, and joining us in this uh, time together. Uh, the Lord bless you and keep you, and we will see you again tomorrow at noon right here. Bless you.